And we are at T-minus nine minutes and counting, and the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA Test Director Jeff Spaulding is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands as Atlantis is only nine minutes away from launch on a supply mission to the International Space Station. And pilot Scott Altman is flipping switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. T minus eight minutes and counting. Coming up on the orbiter access arm to be retracted away from the vehicle. Uh, this is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. And it can be returned to position within seconds if necessary. DRPS, OTC, start APU strip chart recorders. DRPS, strip chart recorder started. PLP, perform APU pre start. Scott Altman, the pilot, is now setting switches in the cockpit to put the three power units and uh, ready to start configuration. T minus six minutes and counting. OTC pre start complete, three gray talkbacks. OTC copy. And we're coming up on a go for our APU start. Standing by for that momentarily. And we have a go for auxiliary power unit activation. That has been reported complete. CDR, reconfigure heaters. This mission carries a crew of seven who will spend the next 12 days in space performing a spacewalk and delivering supplies to the orbiting International Space Station. Everything continues to go well. 
T minus four minutes and counting. And a final test of the flight control surfaces is being conducted at this time. This is a programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control surfaces. this morning. T minus three minutes and counting. Coming up momentarily, the gaseous oxygen vent hood will be slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. Inside this tank is about 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid fuels that run the orbiter's three main engines. OTC, PLT, caution warning cleared and all expected errors. Copy. Again, everything continues to look good and we're cleared for launch today. No problems are being reported from the vehicle or the crew. T minus two minutes and counting. Dillis is both for ET, LH2, pressure Zeta. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting, and all systems are go. Atlantis is about 90 seconds from launch. T minus one minute and counting. We're transferring to orbiter internal internal power at this time, and Atlantis is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in about ten seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis is on board computers, have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, we have booster ignition and lift off of the space shuttle Atlantis, opening the door to a permanent human presence in space. Houston, roger roll. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Atlantis completing its roll, placing the shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute line to orbit.
Just one minute into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up. Go at throttle up. Throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Terry Wilcott of Port Atlantis. Wilcott joined on the flight deck by pilot Scott Altman, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio, and mission specialist Ed Lou. Down on the mid-deck, mission specialists Dan Burbank, Yuri Malenchenko, and Boris Maryukov representing the Russian Aviation and Space Agency. Atlantis already 16 miles in altitude, 13 miles downrange, traveling at a relative inertial speed of 2,200 miles per hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good hydraulic power units aboard the orbiter. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. SRB separation confirmed. Atlantis, two engine tau. Copy, two engine tau. That call indicating that if one engine should fail, Atlantis could reach its transoceanic abort site at Zaragoza, Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Atlantis now traveling 3,500 miles per hour, 43 miles in altitude, 65 miles downrange. A good orbiter so far for the seven astronauts and cosmonauts on board.